Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome back to another episode of Eternal Darkness. Last episode we played as Kareem. And boy, did we cream that run. Kareem, Kareem had board, I forget what it was called now, the something Gata or something, I can't remember. Hello? Phone's ringing over here. The call of the machine. Machine. The call of the machine beckons to Ali, drawing her back to uncover the family secrets it hides. In the machine, will not leave. She has learned what happened to her grandfather, who died in the machine. Mansion. Go back. To oh, hello. Here it is. Must be my headphones. And hello. Oh, believe that. It's happening. And you can believe that. Okay, so let's enchant I to cast this and let's put this on our Gladius. Boom, the item is now enchanted. Cool, so we can actually now go into here and use this. <coughs> awesome, if you ask me. Yeah, may the rats see your eyes. Okay, so... Among the pantry contents is a spice jar with a scrap of paper hidden inside. Pick it up. Cool. So, let's check this. The firmly sealed glass spice jar, the faint aroma of Arabian spices is tantalizing, emanating from it. There's a piece of paper inside of it. Should we open it up? Yes, the look. Oh, I apologize. I didn't put the burp there. in the age of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. An incantation that will bring you into a within days. This millennium will truly usher you age. Your guardians! Now, prepare the gate! After the chapter page was removed, we discarded the spice jar. I hate discarding of stuff. Okay, just want to take one quick look at uh, the, the root in here. Yeah, though. It actually... This tells us what does what. So, it seems that, yeah. So, it's a standard earth. It's water, water beats fire kind of stuff. Okay. Let's use a chapter page and get on with it. I will argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors. Yes. The distinguished Dr. Maximilian Roivas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. I love this character. It has been two weeks since the death of my father has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone and forced to start life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine. Okay, Flintstock Pistol Ammunition. So Maximilian is one of my favourite characters. It's his medical journal. Okay. 
We just got a couple of things. I'm checking to see if we can like open anything up. Was that to examine? No, it's just to examine the painting. I thought we could examine the uh, little oil lamp. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we're just viewing that from like a different angle. That's fine. Let's go out of here. So if you remember, we actually saw Maximilian before. We saw him walking into this room right here. Just let me check this. Stained glass window. Cool. Okay, so Maximilian is a little bit on the chubby side. The door to the servants' quarters is secured with locks. Maximilian, however, can't help but feel uneasy. An ominous presence lurks behind that door, making the hairs on his neck stand on end. Okay, so here we've got the bathroom, which we can't go in as Alex. Max has found some flint ammo. The servant is preoccupied with her duties. Or his duties. With his duties, yep, we got a male servant. You should shine my boot afterwards. Oh, we got a clock here. Hey, is that bust still here? No. We got some Flintstock ammo. I was actually trying to pick that up. That book on top looks like you can pick it up. A gritty portrait of a man with an overbearing countenance. Hardly reassuring soul. Okay. So at least we know we're a doctor. On the bedside sits an open letter. Okay, cool. We picked up the letter. We'll have a read of that in just a moment's time. Oh, hello. That's just casually hanging out. So we've got another one of these medical codexes, which is cool. Now, the reason I like Maximilian so much is because he has a flintlock pistol. And they're, they're one of my favourite guns in the entire world. we got more ammo there. Oh, nothing else to examine. Okay, so let's have a little look at this letter. A letter written with some precision in longhand. Dear friend, the antiquity of which you ask is indeed the tomb of eternal darkness, or a copy of it. At least, its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, as have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the sanctuary of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it would be a powerful weapon. Peruse it if you will, but beware its magic. It's a host Aaron Roivus. So I'm guessing that Aaron Roivus was Maximilian's father? I never really paid much attention to that before. Well, we've been up here and we can't find the Tomb of Eternalness, so... Is there any... Nope. He also gets a really sword, if I remember rightly, even though the sword itself isn't that strong. Nope, can't speak to her. So we can actually just sort of look out and down. I actually never did this before. I could do that. That's pretty cool. So, an open letter sits on the table. Okay. I always like to check the room in my Let's Plays before I do, like, read anything or check anything that we pick up. So this wasn't built yet. We don't have this built yet, although it looks like there is something there. We got some more Flintstock ammunition. Was this that painting that we that's in the dining room? Yes, it is. Or at least a variation thereon. So we've got these two and that. So let's have a look at this letter. A letter... Okay. Dear friend, the house has been forsaken by Asians. I dare not enter it, fear of my mortal sorrow. I would suggest that you leave also. Bring the book, it is a far more potent tool than you have learned, and may well swing the balance in our favour. A. Royfus. So I'm guessing that's Aaron Royfus. Let's... Okay. Let's open this door and check out in here. Oh cool, we got this. It's another one of the magical codexes, although we haven't found... Oh, crank handle, pump handle rather. Which is cool. A fire. Because the fireplace is the focal point of the kitchen. 
Okay. Like I said, I don't want this let's play to drag on because I want to do a character per episode. I think that'd probably be the best way to do this. So let's go in here. So I do know this is where we do need to go. Servant again doing his duties. There is something written beneath the image. When darkness spreads its wings before my master, Chuchogoro's greatest foe, the path will be truly opened. Okay, so we know... That Uli Earth beats Chuchogoro. Okay, so we got the skull, reveal invisibility spell. Here we are, the cutlass or sabre. The saber, and of course, like I said, like I said in the earlier games, oh, we got a flintlock pistol. Like I said in the earlier episodes of this game, we will see various places over and over again, but they are slightly different. Okay, lying amidst the papers of the book is a strange leather-bound book. Okay, so there we go. We got the two eternal darkness, and now we'll get like flashbacks of what we've done so far. And we got this creature. Okay, so something dropped out. We found a letter. Okay, cool. We're going to read this letter. Dear friend, as I suspected the ruins of Inaga, the blasted necropolis, lie under the site of the mansion. The accursed servants of Chuchagava are so close I can almost hear them. There is a secret opening in the basement, and from there we can gain access. I urge you to gather some men and seal it, or better still, destroy that damned place. I have stowed something that you will find useful on the upper level. Look to the light and you I wish I could be at your side, but my ailment worsens daily and I know that my time is short. Okay. So, I'll equip this. Uh, I want to check to make sure that spell list, recover, assign. Okay, so we've still got a recover assigned, which is good. Because Maximilian isn't the strongest of people. And I'm almost certain that the servants go mad. Yeah, I thought they did. Okay, so I actually can't hit you. Which is... Annoying. Now we can attempt an autopsy Amazing. of them. Which I've got to remember to do this. A new entry has been placed. Okay, when an autopsy has been performed, Max can view the newly entry by turning to the journal section of the tomb and selecting autopsy at the bottom of the page. Okay, so... Severing its neck kills the creature instantly. The creature waves the skin, wears the skin of people to protect itself. Cool. So... Oh, I can finish it. Okay, so no, I thought Max had low sanity meter. He must have the health, low health meter. Actually, it would tell us here. No, he's actually got pretty good all around stats. I thought there's someone who has a very. very low. Let's just get rid of this before it comes back. Okay, cool. We got rid of this creature and I do want to autopsy this creature. Because I do want to learn more about these creatures. Okay, cool. We got a magical rune. And we've got the reveal invisibility spell. Awesome sauce. Okay, let's do the autopsy. Oh, that's extraordinary. A new journal has been placed. Okay, so I actually want to look at this. Nope. Oh, horror. The neck of the horrors of the horror are its weak point. Thick chitinous armor plates and sturdy muscles protect this creature. Okay. So I'm wondering if we have to collect the full autopsies of them all, so. 
It did say that something was hidden on the upper level. So if we go to... Spell list. We want to reveal invisibility. We want to do this. So that will reveal this door here. Or not. Maybe we have to defeat that, which would mean we would need the blue urn, which is Yulieth, I believe. Like I said, there was something. Okay, this looks kind of strange and ominous. <laughs> See, the thing is, I remember something about this window. And I could definitely hear something. Oh, hello. What's this? What's this? What's this? An envelope has fallen beside it. Yes. Sever the neck, sever the neck, sever the neck. And then end the creature. Okay. So, let's have a little look at this letter. Check. Okay, melted with the room pressing, it should Maximilian open it. Okay, so we've got the letter now. Let's actually read this. Oh, we've got the basement key, which is awesome. The letter written in a scrawling hand reads, Dear friend, as I expect the beads to draw in closer to our discovery, they want the book for themselves, it seems, and do not want us to have it in our possession. I have taken steps to ensure that they're Yoke will not touch the key in this envelope. Should you fall prey to their claws, the envelope contained in the basement key has been sealed with a corrosive magic. If one does not align to us, tries to handle it, it will be released inflicting pain, suffering, and a grievous blow to their sanity, should they have any left. Okay, so we gotta be swift with our task. Okay, so... I'm a little bit on the confused side now. Oh. Okay. There we go, there's a creature. Let's deal with it. This thing doesn't seem to be anywhere near as difficult as I remember it being. Okay, cool. Now I do know that there is a boss at the end of Maximilian's chapter, so I am saving my flintlock pistols specifically for that. There we go, we got the magical ruin that we needed now. Which is awesome. Which means if we go over here and we click to reveal invisibility using said rune. This should defeat what's hidden there. And we should be able to see. There's a door. Just like I said it would be. And of course, use the basement key, open the door. And down we go. Okay. You know what we can do? We can get hit. We can get hit. That's what we can do. Okay. If we go here, because I... Oh, no. Enchant item. Cast. Enchant that. Enchant the saber. With the weaking... With the rune that's strongest against these two. We may be able to actually take these out a little bit easier. Okay, at least we've got two. I want to autopsy and then I do want to read the oh, autopsy on it. Fantastic. He is pleasantly surprised by that. I mean, I don't blame him. Could you just, you know, kindly not live anymore? Ouch.
Oh, hello. You, my friend, can also be dealt with swiftly. Huh? Uh, don't cast a spell. Don't cast a spell. Spell bad. Spell evil. Spell very, very evil. Again, that's just a sanity. What are the sanity effects? I love them. So we have this rune here. Grab the magical codex. Damage field spell. Okay. And. Oh, we got a pump. We got a pump handle there, didn't we? Here we go, look. Simples. Takes its time, but it goes down eventually. And I think this is a good place to save. I've actually had time today to, to sit down. Okay. This can't be happening! <laughs> now, if you remember back to the very first episode when we was in a dream state with Alex, remember what we heard at the end of that dream state? I'm not going to tell you, but just, just remember that. Okay, cool. So we got the damage field spell, which is oh, awesome. Fantastic. We can perform an autopsy of this thing. So let's have a just quick look at these autopsies, because we've got zombie, firm. I can't quite read that. I can get to these things can take more damage than others. The rest is quite blurred. Limbs regrow unless the creature itself is destroyed. So firm, muscular, that looks like muscular chore, means a resistance or resident or retort against. A thing human corpses that has no special attributes or weaknesses. It is a very weak compound of dried no and skin. Maybe you can see a better on my capture card, but it's quite blurred on my telly because I'm stretching the image slightly more. The man's rock symbol. Unfortunately, we can't work with that just yet. But we do come here again later on. You will see this place again. I don't know if we only see it one more time or if we see it two more times. I'm thinking we see it twice more, I think. Okay, so we've got this creature now. This is like our first, well, it's not our first boss fight, but it is, it is a boss fight, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. We're going to go to equip the Dulock Flint Pistols. We're going to try this. We're going to try to enchant and cast this with this. On these. Okay, cool. We managed to enchant the pistols. Okay, so we need to avoid that. Okay, can I? I can mix. Oh, I actually have to go through the animation anyway. Okay, okay. I mean, that's fine, that's fine. Well. Alright, reload. Oh, is that creature dead? Come on, I want to autopsy it. I really, really want to autopsy it. It looks like I ought to autopsy it. That thing went down pretty easily, actually. The accursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one, and there was an entire city of them. I could not hope to fight them all alone. I knew 
I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. Three months later. Remember what I said, remember back to the first episode. What we heard when we was Alex. I tried. I tried to tell them. But they wouldn't listen to me. Damn. Damn their eyes. They didn't believe me. Strange creatures. The world in peril from unseen foes. Instead, they jeered and threw me into this forsaken place. A place of empty souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! Like I said, this is exactly what we heard in Alex's dream. And that, guys, is going to do it for this episode. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. So please do leave that like, and click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.